I see more money in his wallet. Hello. Look what I see. Another iPhone box. The former owner of this storage unit was arrested 13 times on drug charges, including eight distribution charges. I just paid $240 for this little five by five storage unit, loaded it up in my van and brought it home. And now we're going to go through everything right now and see if we made a good deal or we got ripped off. Let's do it. They could have made this thing like a little bit taller. It's not really accessible for six five people. Let's go to the brown bag first because I was really curious what this was in the unit. I didn't look at nothing. I just loaded everything up and brought it here. So we're all looking at this for the first time together. And let's see what's in the brown black case here. It's a weird case, right? Yeah. That doesn't even open. Okay. okay. What about this side here? Is this it doesn't side even open? look like it extends it at all. What the heck is it? I know. I this. I don't know. There's it there. Okay. What is that? Oh, is it a freaking um, hookah? Hookah. It looks like a hookah. That's that's lovely. That's what I wanted to get. A hookah here. It smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. And these like the things, what are these? They're empty actually. Uh, it's supposed to go in there maybe? Oh, these ones aren't. I guess so. These are flavored. They're cocktail flavor. You flavor hookahs? I know nothing about hookahs. I know nothing about hookahs. I or smoking to say. in general. Yeah, I, I do know one thing about them. These things can be anywhere from like $15 to like five, $600, mm -hmm. depending on the brand. So that's going to be something we set aside for sure because I have no idea if that's cheap or super valuable. Let's see. Well, that's the lock. They probably used to lock their unit. Trash. Let's go to this bag right here now. What do we have? Well, a bag in a bag. Let's see what's in this bag first. Um, open up. Come out. I hear something in there. This is, oh, I shouldn't have done that, huh? Well, we got a lighter, phone cases. What are these things? I have no idea. The what 50 States Dream? I don't even know what they are. They're whatever these are right here. That's one out of the package. Maybe but they go to a hookah? Maybe. Okay, there's a lot more of those things. What the heck is this? All pieces to it? That looks like something that goes to a hookah, huh? Yeah. Little pieces here. A couple more phone cases. Why so many random phone cases? Then this is nothing. And then one random pair of shorts. What about the rest of the bag? Is this hookah related? What is that it thing? Looks like it. Looks like a pestle and mortar or something. <laughs> Uh, oh, is that what this is? Maybe that goes to it. Yeah, these look like the same thing. I don't really know what it does, but something for smoking, I'm assuming, so far. What the heck's with all these phone cases? Look at this. Holy crap. They have like 40 phone cases. You see this? <laughs> Louis Vuitton phone cases and just iPhone 12. This whole bag here is full of nothing but phone cases. Look at that. There's probably 15, 20 in there. I mean, even if they're worth a dollar a piece, that's at least 20 bucks right here. I'm gonna put these all aside. What's that? Oh, it's from PayPal. Mm -hmm. I thought that was like a birthday card or something. Yeah, me too. What else is down in here? This, a menu, oh. a cocktail menu. Why'd you just take that? Just in case you know, <laughs> next time I wanna decide what I want at home, we don't need that. But there's more phone cases. Like, why do you have so many? This dude has like 30, 40 phone cases. And a little phone charger, we might need that actually. And then the rest of it though is just trash. We've been a little busy over here. You know why, right? You know how she was pregnant and stuff? <laughs> She's not now. <laughs> Cause look, even little Broly's out here chilling with us, watching us go through the unit, man. He said the first day it's not cold this week. He wants to come outside and chill with us. Yeah. And go through the unit in his little stroller. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's see, this is- He's our mascot. He's a mascot. Why that no mascot? He's a cheerleader. No, definitely not. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. This, oh boy. Gucci. But is it Gucci or is it Fucci? Gucci. That's always the question. I don't know how to tell with these Gucci designer clothes, so we'll set it aside just in case. What is this? Okay. This is, something's in there. We're about to find out. Maybe some money? Give me some money. Oh, there is some money in there, actually. Nice. Not a whole lot or nothing, but there's a little bit of change in there. Another phone, what, what is with this person in phone cases? Maybe they sold them. Maybe they did sell phone cases. And there's this pearl necklace. I need to make sure it's not like Tiffany or something. Cause once upon a time I found a pearl necklace. I didn't even notice it was Tiffany. I almost got rid of it. And it was like a $2,000 necklace. Fun times. <laughs> that has nothing written on it right there. <laughs> this right here, <clears throat> Louis Vuitton, but this is definitely Louis Vuitton. Look how much it's fallen off. So it's not gonna be sellable for us, but I can at least look and see what's in there. Like this NBA tag. That's garbage. I see more money in his wallet. Get out. Ah, oh, there's another nickel. We're stacking it up right Thanks. now. He's definitely, I mean, this is definitely not real Louis Vuitton, but I still want to go through here. This is a gift card. We'll have to go look at that for Cold Stone and stuff. Uh, I don't know what that's for, but I don't like it. I'm going to throw it away, put it over here. Paper. Let's see what's in that middle zipper, though. What's in here? Any money? Oh, Social Security card. Ooh, a gold necklace, though. Look at that. It's a Versace necklace. But is it Fusachi? <laughs> <laughs> and our dude's social security card. You shouldn't keep that in your wallet, man. You shouldn't keep that in your wallet. 
Okay, another phone case. This, up. Oh, this is empty, unfortunately. <laughs> what about this here? Another wallet. Gucci wallet, ain't it? Is this one I want the money in it? Bang. No, but it does have some cards here. Let's see if there's any more gift cards in here. These are personal, personal. This is a school one, personal. Yeah, we can't use any of the personal. Oh, there's a Kroger gift card. We'll have to check that one as well. Anything else in this wallet? And I wonder if it's real again. Look right here, you see that? It does say Gucci on it. So a lot of this stuff, this is gonna be another one of those units where it's like either super valuable or it's super cheap because we don't know if it's real or fake. That's empty again. Then this right here, that. That's another part of a hookah, isn't it? And you'll never get to the bottom of the phone, or the bag. Another phone case to add to our collection. So I was digging in the wallets once I turned the camera off and I found this dollar sign gold necklace. This one says K18 on it, but this feels like plastic. I don't think it's real. This on the other hand says 10 carat and that does look like gold. And that's like a little religious piece right there. So if that's gold, that's a good chunk of our 240 back already. This yellow box here seems to look like another kind of hookah thing. Let me guess. Yeah, that's most definitely what it is. Some hookah pieces and things like that. So something we can't sell online, a local sale. This is like a takeout bag, but it looks like a lot of the stuff in there looks new. Okay, I've never seen, is this another phone case? Oh, that's a tempered, tempered glass, glass but it's gone. Oh. I was about to say. There's no way this dude has more phone cases. More tempered glass, gone. Let's see what's in this. Oh, this is heavy. What is that? That's got a lot of weight to it. Oh, there's food in there. Ew. Oh, that's just wrong. Why store that? Why? All right, so we got, is this a jersey or shorts or what? This looks like a kind of a mix between the two, huh? Fusion, not like an actual uh, team jersey, but it's definitely a shirt. There's another one. Oh, hello. Look what I see. Ooh. iPhone box. Come on. Come. Aw. Well, well, it's okay. This is empty again. What about this? Just a random tank top? Yeah, mm -hmm. random tank top. We'll just set it over here. We'll donate all the used clothes. That's nice condition. These are, uh, what the heck was that? Well. Gift cards. I just found gift cards galore. Okay. Okay, we'll have to check all these first. That was kind of random. I just tried to unfold them <laughs> and I got hit by gift cards. Well, add them to our pile of gift cards. But if that's the case, I gotta look in these pockets. Yep, money. Mm. See? Bang. Nice. Nine cents in that pocket. What about this one, and this one, and this one? We're racking in the big bucks. No, I know, right? No more money, unfortunately. Put that over here with the rest of his clothes. These are just paperwork. These are more things that are just empty. Like, why do you keep the boxes if they're empty? This looks like it could be Versace ugly shorts or something, a Versace bathing suit. It is a uh, silk. Never heard of that one. Maybe that's designer. If you know, let me know in the comments. Like, this kind of stuff, it just looks ugly enough to be designer. I always say that. Like, Gross. just, ugh. It just looks so ugly, but I feel like it's gonna be something. It looks like the tag just says XL on it, so I doubt it's any real brands. If we go further in here, we got some socks. I'm gonna check in these socks. Ooh, do I wanna open this? Ooh, I don't know about the feeling of it or the size of it. Let's see. Oh, oh okay, it's perfume or something. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's like nothing left in it. There's like a spray left in it. So that, and there's some vape juice in there. What about the little gift bag here? Uh, welcome to the Space Jam. That looks like the newer Space Jam. Ew, ew, ew. Only the original one. Oh, these are new. Some brand new pants here. I want to see what the brand on these suckers are. I don't know. MSRP is $95 though. I know that. There's your brand on them. Okay. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. Looks like there's more than one in here too. Is this another pair? Oh yes it is. Look at that. Same exact thing except these are like a tannish color. Brand new. And here is a brand new tank top right here. That's only 13 bucks, but hey, still new. This is garbage. More. Why do you keep all these empty tempered glass things? And then these are, what are they, like vapor or something like that? Maybe something to do with the hookah. But that's all that's in there besides this little schedule. That's just his work schedule. We don't care about that. Let's go to the big brown bag here. Ooh, because I see clothes. And now I'm kind of interested in this guy's clothes. Because he's going he has new stuff. Let's go to the little bag inside the big bag first. The little bag's got, uh, I don't even know. What the heck is this? There's jewelry. It's whatever that is with a tag on it, though. So we'll set that aside. And look down here. Ooh, some big pearl-like necklaces. Definitely nice ones. We'll set those aside as well. And there's another bag. There's two bags in this big bag. So before we get all the way through. In here we got, let's see. These are empty. It's some medical stuff. So let me take my time in here. Make sure I don't get poked by any needles. This is just a pair of pants, but since we found money and jewelry before, I'm gonna reach my hand in these pockets because, hey, I don't know. I just don't know. Nothing in there. This one right here, just a shirt. And then what is that? 
something new, like a new pair of socks or something. Looks like it. Okay, we'll just put that back in here. Again, those kind of clothes will just be donated. These kind of pre-owned clothes, donation, donation. Metro PCS, we got a phone? No, we got nothing. Then we got, oh look, another iPhone box. Thank you. Oh, come on. Where are the iPhones at? I need them. I need them. These are clothes. This is clothes. Let's see, this guy here. That looks like more hookah stuff, huh? Definitely more hookah. What about this down there? Uh, that's what that other bottle went to, the empty one. And this yeah. one's empty too. They literally used it and put it back in the box after it was empty. That makes a lot of sense. But other than that down here, we just have papers. Let's go to this little gift bag here now. First, we got a little cup here. And also, by the way, you guys know we're gonna be selling all the good stuff out of this unit, plus some other good stuff we had stacked up on Whatnot again. It's been a little while, but we are having another auction this coming Tuesday in three days on Whatnot. If you never used it before, these are brand new, by the way. Brand new clothes again. It's pretty much just like eBay, except that we're selling to you live, and we're not just listing stuff. We get to interact with you, and it's a lot of fun. Ask anyone that's done it before. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> and if you never signed up before, use our code right here on screen or the link in the description. And if you sign up using that, you get 15 free dollars and we start every single lot at $1. Also, brand spanking new. So hey, you could be getting stuff for free, just paying a little bit on shipping, that's it. You're not gonna get those kind of deals anywhere else. After you've made your account, download it, log in with the thing you just set up and look for our name. It's at THWGBIS and you'll see our show. Look at these, brand new as well, literally with tags. All of this brand new stuff is gonna be, oh, these are brand new colognes. Nice. Red Intense for Man, these are definitely brand new. I could tell you just by feeling it. But all this stuff, just so you guys can see. Ooh, look at that. All of these things plus more is gonna be starting at just a buck. Here's another one. Look at this, Vendetta Fire. These are, oh, is that Gucci? What is that, Original Gangster Collection? Okay. Money. All, all of these are gonna be going for just a dollar on our whatnot. And I, look at this. Hmm, that's interesting. But first, look. Another brand new pair of pants. Do these have price tags on them? Uh, I don't see them, but they are new. And this right here is just a U shirt. Yeah. It's just a U shirt. And then that's just a used tank top. So let's see what's in this metal case really quick. So when is that auction again? Tuesday. Don't miss it. 6 p.m. Eastern time. Right, Broly? I don't want to touch you right now because my hands are dirty. <laughs> but right, man, the Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. He knows. Let's see what's in here. This is, oh. A little watch, what is that? It's a, what's the brand when I say Ricardo? It looks like it says on there. It's hard, the hand's blocking it. Then there's this little metal piece here. This like could be a gold bracelet or something. I don't know, I'll put it with our jewelry for sure. We got pants here. Nope. And Steve Madden. But what is, let's check the Adidas pants first. I don't see nothing in these. They think these are just, yeah, there's nothing in these pockets. These are just pants, but this, I don't know, it's, oh, they tied it, tied it. No, no, they didn't, I got into it. Let's see what's in this little bag right here. Empty out, what do we got? Another necklace, huh? Ooh, look at the end on that. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Is there a brand on this thing? Uh, not that I see, not that I see. So if I don't see brands or nothing, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm crazy, I'll just lot it right up and sell it all in a lot on whatnot. So don't you miss that auction next time time or tuesday i was about to say next time next <laughs> tuesday i'm rusty right now right next tuesday don't miss that auction you see all this orange in here this is why i'm very very on the edge about all the louis vuitton and gucci because this is timu and timu if you don't know sells a lot of bootleg brands trust me i buy a ton of bootleg dragon ball figures off this site that's all i've ever gotten off of there but hey I don't know, let's see what these are. As long as they're just not like these, you know what? This is fine, these are nice shoes. The problem what you can't sell is that they're trying to knock something off. Like this does not say, if it says Jordan, Nike or something, then obviously it's illegal. What this is it its say? own brand. Scoo wood. Scoo wood, I mean they're brand new. They're probably not too expensive. I bet you they're only like 30 or 40 bucks brand new, but they're still new. There's a big difference between third party and bootleg. You know what I mean? Yeah. Third party is okay to sell. Bootleg, on the other hand, will never sell because that's messed up and illegal. Speaking of bootleg, what do you think? These are Ooh. easy 350s and- We can show the tag. I don't know anything about them. Let's see. There's a tag in there, made in China, names E350, has the length and stuff. I don't know. I have no idea how to authenticate these. I've never liked or wore Yeezy, so. If anyone knows, definitely let us know in the comments because that can be probably a couple hundred dollars or so if they're real, but good chance they're knockoffs. But if you, again, if you know, please let us know. Let's get this giant ripped up bag here off the ground. Oh, I just lost oh. a dime. I was about to say, I see money and I lost it, money. 
All right, let's see. Are these Priya? These are Priya. And so, like I said before, Priya and I donate, but this guy, he's got something in his pocket. What is it? Oh, Choice Hotel card. Nice. He's probably supposed to return it at the front desk, dude. <laughs> what is that? Ah, uh, all these hotel cards. Okay, you can't keep those, sir. Those are supposed to be given back to the hotel at their property. <laughs> what about this right here? Oh, look. It's actually a nice little jean jacket. This is nice. OG Fables? Yeah, that might be worth some money, actually. Jean jackets are usually nice. It matches this, I think. Oh, you're right. It's one whole piece. He left his belt and everything in this one. I do that every day. My jeans sit by the end of my... Oh, first <laughs> off. This is why you check pockets. This guy's got money in his pocket, too. Never found, like, this consistent change in every pocket almost I reach into. Probably got a few bucks and just change. But, yeah, this dude's got stuff in every single pocket. And that's why I got to keep opening them and making sure this paperwork because the one I don't check is gonna be the one that has like 100 bucks in it. You know that already. Let's see, these black jeans. Uh, necklace, lighter, penny. All you need. Cool. Yeah, all you need right there. What about this one here? Nothing. This is like a little mystery bag in each piece of clothing I pick up because you never know what's gonna be in there. Nothing, that's just a U shirt, U shirt, sock box. Uh, let's see what's all down here. Looks like more hookah pieces. This looks like what was in that other bag from earlier. Then these are Ralph Lauren socks, but they're like taken apart. So they're not technically new, even though they've probably never been used. So the rest of it's just hookah stuff. You want the red bag or the blue bag? Blue. Blue? Let's see what's in the blue bag. And that means I get red. Let's see who wins this challenge. Oh my gosh. Well, hey, who needs tempered glass or protective cases? Are these all empty or are they all in there? Let's see. This one I can't tell. The other box you could tell. These are in there. You just got, you scored. Let's see, one, phone two, cases. three, four, five. Enough phone cases to protect everyone's phone for the next, like at least 40 years, you know? At least 40 years. But I keep joking about these, but the thing is, if you want to take the time and you list these on eBay, you'll probably get anywhere from five to $10 for each one of these. And there's probably like 40 of them. So they're definitely not worthless. It's just funny that somebody has so many of them. What's in here? I gotta keep checking this paper. Yeah, nothing in there, but hey, that's still money all day. Hey man, what you think about this unit so far? Is it looking good? Is it looking good? You enjoying looking at the sky, dude? Yeah, I think he said it looks good. You guys understood him, right? Uh-oh, he spit out his pacifier. He had to tell us that it looked good. Your bag was tons of phone cases. Now what is my red bag worth here? What's, ooh, ooh, okay. Now mm -hmm. it just got interesting. It just got interesting. Uh, let's see what's in here. A uh, bunch of crap here. What is that so heavy? Ooh, look. There's some Versace and Gucci necklaces. I'm sure totally legitimate. Yeah. You can tell by the packaging how legitimate they are. Uh, let's see what else is in there. Those. Ooh, ooh, I got money, I think. Come out. I got a nickel. And, ooh, there's safe keys. Ooh, keep okay, it. Okay, we're setting that aside, yeah. Ow. It went right under my nail. It didn't stab me, it just went under my nail. <laughs> let's see what's in here. Uh phone case oh that looks like an xbox logo doesn't it yeah. why does that look like an xbox ouch nothing oh i can close the trash can uh <laughs> that, no way oh more phone cases I, oh look at that oh. i'm iced out man iced out i kind of like almost have like a permanent kind of babyish voice now over the last week i feel like yeah. i feel like i keep doing it without trying to <laughs> then we got some phone cases and some shorts okay there's that <laughs> What I doubt, man. I know. What is this? This is interesting looking though. Open up. What? Okay, there's something in here and it feels really hard. I'm scared to touch it. It looks like a white crystal substance though. So we're going to save that for a little while mm. because that's a little sketchy. These are some uh, just random junk. What about that? That looks like a chain piece of a chain. Some more jewelry. Some more jewelry. Uh, another key. What the heck? There's not much else in here though, but this right here is what I'm curious about. I'm just gonna break it. What the heck, right? Ugh, no, I'm not. This stuff is tough. Where's the van keys? Hold on. I think it has a knife on it. You are not not getting away from me. I feel like a cop right now. There's a white crystal like stuff that's inside this bag. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away now. Is this brand anything? What does that say? Doterra. A Doterra. Is there anything in here? No. Uh. No, what about the main compartment here? Anything inside? No, this is like completely new almost. Hmm, <laughs> all right, that's a nice little auction item there. Let's go to the other red bag here. This one is, I see cologne again. Ha yeah buddy, brand new box again. Good stuff or whatnot. Let's see, let's start pulling some stuff out. Here is the lock they cut 
right there. Uh, is this new? I feel like I feel a tag in here. Let's see. Oh, of course it is. Designed in NYC. Does it have a price tag on it? 30 bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's it look like? Oh, Dang it. watch your head. My forehead. That. This stuff isn't designed for 6'5 people, you know? It's just not designed for people my height. It's kind of discriminatory, personally, but this is just, this new. This is like a brand, you could tell it's brand new. Okay, it is brand new. There's a tag. It's only 10 bucks, but it's just a plain black tee, but it's huge, man. This is like probably mm -hmm. a four or five X or so. My old sizes. Uh, nothing. What about this here? These new, these are new as well, look. Brand new, MSRP 60 bucks on those suckers, so more newness. And then what about the last pair of pants in here? Are these new? These are not new or they are new? I don't see a tag, let's check the pockets. No, nothing in the pockets. Oh, it looks like it had a tag and it probably got ripped off, unfortunately. I think this thing is used to break into cars, isn't it? It just looks like it is. <laughs> I don't know. After the criminal history I looked up on this guy, uh, it's possible. Where should I go from here? Should I get one of these big orange Timu boxes or get this brown bag? I mean, I'm kind of curious about one of the Timu boxes. Right, let's get this. We're just hoping here that it's third party stuff. If it's bootleg, unfortunately, I got to trash it because I'm not selling it. Oh, it's brand new, whatever it is. But is it bootleg? That's the question. Uh, I don't see a brand on this. So this is not a knockoff. This is just a bag, which is perfectly fine to sell. That's what you gotta look for. If it says Gucci on it, or if it says Louis Vuitton on it, then it's a knockoff and you can't sell it. But these, they're just cheaper made. I mean, you know lots of people that get lots of clothes and stuff from Timu. It's not as bad as everybody acts like it is. They're like, oh my gosh, it's so cheap. I bought in probably a couple thousand dollars worth of Dragon Ball figures off there. And they're all awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's go into here. Oh, here we go. Here's the question. I see a bag full of shoes. Let's see. Don't be knockoffs. Just be new shoes. Yeah, like that. Fashion threes. Those are nice. They're brand new. That's cool. This right here. Ooh, curious to see what's in there. In a second. These, again, they they just they're on brand. Fashion. These are perfectly good to sell. Like I said, obviously they're not going to be as high end as Nike, but it's a new pair of shoes. You I mean you have to pay 40 bucks for it if you get it online. So if they sell for 15, 20 bucks. Who cares? What's in this though? That's awesome. Let's see. Come out, come out, whatever you are, come out. Uh, another one? Okay, wow, this is like really secure, whatever this is here. This is like the holy grail. It says uh, fly white on it. Does it just open? You press these, uh, uh. Push them in together maybe? This, like this? Oh, yeah. uh, you know, what about this? Oh, it's just a bag. It's nice too. Cool, this is good stuff, I'm happy so far. Long as I don't see fake stuff, it's another one. This is good stuff here. That like looks a, like a white one. Yeah, white of uh, the same thing. What about this bag here? Yeah, this is brand new bag as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This dude with all the cologne and all the phone cases, he definitely had like a little store or, um, market booth or something like that going. Because you can't sell bootleg stuff and he made sure he didn't buy bootleg stuff to sell. It's just all their brands. And then we have one more bag here, all brand new stuff. What a deal so far for 240, we're not even done yet. Now that we did a Timu box, let's go in, oh no, let's go into here. Hey, if you haven't left the video a thumbs up yet, you should do it. I also got some interesting news. If you didn't know, we have a second channel called The Jeebus Family where we've been uploading to daily. We're just vlogging around the house. So if you wanna check us out, see the little Broly videos, you should check it out. And there's some jewelry in the dude's shoes. But these are, uh, look like Pumas. Not the best condition, but they're there. Let's see what else is in here pants here nothing in the pockets unfortunately this let's see what's in this bag this is a charger and something else what is this it's like everything's like bag and bag and bag oh this is a new pair of socks okay that's cool that there is the auction tag right here and then we got this bag this is just a random one too yeah, oh look 50 bucks or 150 bucks okay it's new too that's nice that's really nice all gonna be on what not for a dollar i'm telling you one freaking dollar we're crazy i know this right here ugh, all brand new something what are these hats these are brand new hats and the price on them is only 10 bucks but there's a pink one a yellow one a purple one a red one and there's some white thing at the bottom what is that this just a piece of styrofoam nice let's go to this bag i think it's yeah, this Metro PCS, no way it has, what do you think it has in it? Oh, wow. Phone case, again, for like the billionth time. Let's see what's in here now. That's nothing. Hookah hoses, okay. That is what they are. Hookah hoses, it does say that on there this time. These are three, 
and then a cone. Three hookah hoses and a cone. You never know what you're gonna find in a storage unit, do you? Wanna go to another Timu box? Sure. Looks like it's more brand new stuff. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. These are brand new shoes again. Again, I'm looking for brands. They don't have any bad brands on them, so they're not bootlegs, they're just third parties. Good to sell. Now, if I didn't say earlier, all this stuff we from this unit is going to be up on whatnot here. Look at this. This is all brand new clothes. Brand new clothes. What are these? That? I don't know. That's jewelry. Mm -hmm. So these might be little jewelry boxes. Let's see. See the shoes down there, too? Also brand new. I don't know. I dropped it. Let's open up one of these and see if these are jewelry boxes because I'm kind of curious. I'm going to make sure they're not knockoff brands or anything. This is open up. Well, what's it say on it? The Zibby. The Zibby. Okay. It's, it looks like jewelry, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, look. Little four leaf clover necklace in there. Nice. I say let's go into this pink bag right here. You want a tripod now? She took Broly in to give him a bottle. He was due in about five minutes, so I'm solo now. Let's see, little booty shorts. I think I could rock these personally. I think I might even wear them actually. Again, this is one of those things I said before. It's like, it might even be designer just because of the way it looks. Like I'm not, can't be the only one that thinks like designer clothes are just horribly ugly. Look at that, a Versace tag. See that, I don't know if it's real or not. This kind of stuff that's actual brand, we're gonna have to get authenticated before we can sell it. But if it is real, it's gonna be worth some big money. There's the bottom piece to it as well. These right here, what are those? Just a pair of pants. Yeah, just some red pants, not special. This right here, just more clothes, nothing special. And then one more used pair of pants, but I gotta check the pockets just to be sure. No, 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 and nothing. Yeah, the used clothes that isn't designer or aren't new are just gonna be donated. Let's see, this bag, definitely a pair of shoes, but again, we gotta make sure they're not knockoff brands. These are, what in the heck is that? I don't know, but the thing is, it's brand new. I just smelt it too, I'm weird like that, to make sure. These are brand new. Again, they'll definitely go up for sale for a buck because we sell everything for a buck, we're weird. This bag right here, uh, Let's see, that's just used clothes. More paperwork. Always look through the paperwork because the paperwork is where you'll find cash. If you're gonna find it, it's usually in paperwork. Uh, nothing else but papers. Little Louis Vuitton uh, bathing suit maybe. Definitely, definitely uh, Fooey Vuitton. It's got like weed leaves on it where the logo should be. So definitely not real. This guy literally has, I don't know what this is. This is an email and a password logging into something. I don't know what it's logging into, but whatever it is, he just left it in here. That's not good. Lucky I'm not a hacker. This would be a great job if you were a hacker. You find a lot of info. Look at these. Who would rock these shoes right here? Those are, yeah, same brand. We're definitely going up for auction. We're getting to the end of these. See these, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume are knockoffs right there. Cause I know these are very expensive if this brand's legitimate, but just like the Gucci, I don't want to uh, throw it away or nothing because it could be real, there's a chance. I just don't know how to authenticate designer brands. So we'll definitely keep that aside just in case. If it's real, that's the money for sure. Let's go to this big, big bag back here. Let's see what we got inside of it. Empty bag, Dunkin' Donuts. This is, whoa, these are slides. Look at that. They look like, they look like I don't even want to say. Like, they look like a certain part of the anatomy of a male that hangs, and it looks like they made shoes out of them. That's all I'm going to say. We're not going to go into detail on that. Uh, just the shirt. This guy has a lot of random stuff. A lot of stuff that's brand new, though, so I'm glad I bought this unit. I kind of profiled it when I saw it. This is the kind of unit I was thinking it would be, but I'm glad it turned out to be that way. Another one of these little harder bags here. Let's see. Uh, bre Ooh, no. This one's got... A whole stack of cards on it. We're gonna have to check all these gift cards in a bit too. These are personal cards. Uh, he's got Randy Orton from WWE on his credit card. Uh, I think these are, no, these are all actually his cards though. So we can't use those. We can only look at the gift cards. There is a little bit of golden looking jewelry down there. Might be real, we'll look into it. And then there's also, let's see, a bunch of paperwork here. A key thing, and this is just says, literally look, that's not sketchy at all. Letter to a friend. It doesn't even specify who the friend is. It just says letter to a friend. So I kind of got to see what it is now. What is this? It's printed. It's not actually written. This is about uh, oh, it's a religious thing. Maybe something they gave out at church or something like that. I thought he just wrote it and just labeled it to a friend. I'm about to say that's not creepy at all. That's not how a horror movie starts right there. Let's see this. Oh, look, these are Apple AirPod box. Come on. Can we get them? Can we get the Apple AirPods? We didn't give me the iPhones. Can I have the AirPods? Nah, they're not in there. But at least we got three Apple boxes. Apple boxes do sell on their own. Not for very much, but maybe five, 10 bucks a piece, depending on how new the model is. 
speaking of Apple, look, there's the Apple bag. Ooh, there's another iPhone box. This is the third one. Why do so many have so many Apple phones? There's so many phones. There's another charger in this one. No phone though, unfortunately, but that's the third one. Anything else in the Apple bag? Anything Apple's worth money for some reason. I don't know why Apple's so loved, but they are. Mirror case, that is just nothing in there. And just paperwork and paperwork and paperwork inside of the Apple bag here, unfortunately. This is another, let's see, is it one of those knockoff brand ones? No, it's just a random little red shirt. This right here, what's in here? Uh, this is just randomness and, but look, another brand new thing of cologne. Those are good money, cologne is money. And of course, underneath all the paperwork in the bag, another stack of phone cases, cause this unit wouldn't be complete without more, right? Now we have another box here, look. Another brand new bag, not bootlegged, beautiful. Another brand new non-bootleg bag. Beautiful. We only paid 240 bucks for all of this. This is gonna be a good unit when it's all said and done. More brand new shoes here. And don't forget guys, what not? This Tuesday, another little bag in here, brand new. All this stuff's gonna be available starting at a buck, literally. And if you're signing up for the first time, you're getting 15 free bucks. So don't miss this stuff. Oh, look, here's another one of these cases, another one of these cases. He had some of these out of the plastic too, so he probably used them as well. And then, of course, like every other box and bag in this unit, wouldn't be complete without about 10 more phone cases. And then in here, it looks like more cases. Man, this unit had a lot of good new stuff. And now we get to play our favorite casino type storage unit game. Call the gift card and see if it tells us good news or bad news. And we have a good stack here to call. So let's start calling them and see if we got extra money or a bunch of big fat zeros. Please listen carefully and use your keypad to complete the following security challenge. What is zero plus one? Making me do math nowadays. Check your balance. Please enter your card number followed by pound. Let's see guys, cross your fingers. Please enter the three-digit security code located on the back of your card, followed by pound. All right, now cross fingers. For the main menu, press one. It's just the typical thing, you know, you're like, I'm gonna call it, and like, go to the website. And I'm like, okay, I'll go to the website. Type it in, error, try calling the number. Okay, I'll call the number. Number's like, no, error, try using the website. Just an infinite loop to where you never actually get help. Let's try this one and see if this one works. Please enter the two-digit year. You want my social security Please too? Please enter the three-digit security code printed on your card. Give me a good balance. Please hold while we access that information. Come on. You may experience a moment of silence. Come on. Your available account balance is 12 cents. Here's your balance again. Please pass We're balling now, baby. We're balling. Kroger. Let's, call, let's try Kroger. Your available account balance is... $2.60. Oh my gosh. $2.60? Shoot. We are just out here making bank on this unit, I'm telling you. Let's try this last one here. This one's the Go Enjoy. It can be used at Carabas, Outback, Cold Stone, Regal, or Bonefosh Grill. That one? It appears that you are having trouble entering your card number. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. They just gonna straight hang up on me, and yeah, they really got the customer service down right now. It's just your card is oh. active and has a balance of zero dollars and zero cents. All that Here trouble! Wow! Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was so worth it. All doing all the math problems and everything else. Well, the only mystery we have left are the vanilla gift cards, which just send me in an infinite loop of never getting solved. So maybe they have some money loan. We'll just try them next place we go. Who knows? Well, guys, that's all we got for you. Man, it's asleep right here. Make sure you leave the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Go to the Jeeves family for the daily vlog. And don't forget the auction is on Tuesday. Until then, peace out.